Hey there, you're out caching, you find the cache, and uh, you sign the logbook, but you find something else in there. A trackable. And uh, you might ask, okay, trackable, what do I do with it? And you wouldn't be alone. So we're going to answer that question, how to log a trackable on this episode of Cache Canada. Come along with us, we'll show you how. Oh, there it is right there. Check that out. It's a nice geocache. Oh, look at that. There's a nice tradable. I'll put you right here in my pocket with all the other tradables I found today. There you go. Found. <laughs> Ah, Billy. Be right there, Mr. Neal. Hey, Mr. Neal. What's up? What is this? Oh, those are tradables. I sure hope you log these all online. Okay, sure. I'll go log them online right now. By the way, they're called trackables. Oh my lord, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Mr. Neal says I need to log those tradies, I mean trackables, online. I don't know what to do. He's so busy, I don't want to bother him. He's just too busy. I got it. Mr. London Wester will help. I'm going to call me Catch Canada. Hello, Bob Billy. How are you? Hello, Mr. London Westy. I hope I'm not bothering you and Ms. Lear class. No, Bob Billy. We always have time for one of our patrons and one of our favorite geocachers. Great. Yeah, I love the Catch Canada videos. They are awesome. I love them. Well, thank you, Bob Billy. And we love watching you, too. Your exploits are just hilarious. You and Neil Moore at Cash Tales have some great, great videos. Well, hey, I am having a problem, and I'm hoping you can help me out. Well, we certainly hope we can help. Uh, what's up? I found some treaties in Mr. Neil. He calls them trackables, and he said I need to log them online. And, well, he's pretty busy. So I thought I'd ask you for some help. Well, we certainly can help you with that, Bob Billy. There's lots of people that don't know about logging trackables. This is something we can certainly help with. Do you have access to a computer? Yes, sir. I got me a Vic computer. A what? A Vic? A Vic computer from Mr. Star Trek. The wonder computer of the 1980s, the Commodore Vic 20. Bob Billy, I don't think that one's going to be up to snuff. I think you need to borrow Mr. Neal's computer if that's okay with him. All right. I'll use Mr. Neal's computer. I am at my computer, and uh, you get to Mr. Neal's, put me on speakerphone, and we'll log those trackables for you. I'll be right with you. Okay, you're all set to go? Yes, sir. Let's go log a trackable. I've got uh, this trackable right here. We're going to use that one, and this one is from Lyra class. It's signal. Alright, so on the computer you want to go to geocaching.com. You either type that in in the address bar right there or I've got a quick link on both the top and the bottom right on my page. I click that. It'll take you to the home page and to start logging a trackable you want to go to play. You click on play and you go down the list and you'll see it says trackables. You click that right there and it'll take you to the logging in a trackable.
When you log a trackable, you don't need to put in the caps, although all trackable tags are in caps. You can put it in small letters or large. I like to put it in caps just so that I can help me see what I'm typing matches what's on the tag, but you don't need to. It can be in small or caps. So we start typing, uh, and I'm going to use this one here, B27, 2, P, 9. And then you click the magnifying glass to search, and it will find that trackable. And there we are, it's a uh, signal by Lyric Glass. So what you want to do is to go over to the trackable options, and we're going to found it and log it. So I click found it, log it. You're going to pick the type of log. So um, what you want to avoid doing mostly is don't grab it from someone. That's kind of rude. The only time you'll you'll need to use that is if it's not in a place where you found the geocache, or you need to to take it from that person that gave it to you and they haven't logged it in a specific cache. It's good if you can get a hold of them and say, hey, can you drop that trackable in the cache and then I can retrieve it. So this one is a little different. There's, there's the, it hasn't been dropped anywhere. So uh, we're just gonna discover it. I'm not gonna take that trackable from, from Lyric Glass. I'm just going to discover it. If you find it in a geocache, you're gonna wanna click the option that says retrieve. All right, so I'm gonna discover that. So there's today's date, the trackable number, and then write a little note to explain what you've done. Uh, discovering uh, your trackable, your, oops, ute, your TB today. Thanks for sharing. And you can write a story, you can do all kinds of things. And we're just gonna scroll down to the bottom and hit Submit entry, and that's it. You're, you've logged a trackable. So good luck to you. Make sure when you are pick, retrieving uh, trackables from a cache, you can log it as retrieved, but make sure that you put it into a cache and then log it as dropping into the cache. So there you go. Hopefully that works for you. Thanks. Hi, neighbor lady. I think I got it. Well, look at there. I did it. I'm in. And look at that. It's a Catch Canada tag. I actually did it. Now to log it. I found your trackable. So there you go, thanks to Bob Billy, he had the same question as you. And remember that uh, don't keep the trackables there for sending on missions. So once you're done picking it up and you move on to another cache, pop it in and drop it in that cache and make sure it gets logged. Don't keep trackables and make sure you log them as soon as you can. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again. Where will geocaching take you?